Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Lobotomy Corporation where I just got done in organizing my entire group of, of employees to help combat the Apocalypse Bird. Speaking of which, we're going to be, if it's not obvious already, we're going to be making attempt number two here and I've got everything basically based around following the advice of the comments and organizing characters according to damage output so this entire control team is red damage information team is what i apparently forgot to equip this employee good thing i spotted that i'll the safety team is black damage training team is white the control team is red and for information team, I've got something different. Since I have a very limited quantity of hail damage, I've got one equipped with the uh, with um, Judgment Bird's weapon, the other equipped with the Samurai Sword that does the hail damage. I've got a third agent equipped with a wand. I've got a fourth agent equipped with black damage, and a fifth equipped with red. And it's something similar here. Central Command Team 1 is red. And welfare is white, discipline team is black, and the team two is the pale damage team. You know, I've got similar loadout. And the Azareth is I've tried to diversify their damage output because they're the outliers. A bit of backup. But I tried to do my best with organizing everyone according to according to the best that I can, so. Apparently also something that is that apparently is that apparently you can read um Apocalypse Bird has its own bio and you can and read it once you um once you get on any of the you can look at any of the birds and, and read apocalypse birds bio but you need to actually spawn in um uh, apocalypse bird in order to get it according to the comments you can get it for sure after you beat them but there may or may not be a chance that you can There may or may not be a, a chance you can get it, access it, it actively during the attack. Another comment is that instead of trying to go for for big bird and punching bird, I should. I should go for Punishing Bird and Judging Bird, which, in hindsight, kind of, kind of, uh, is obviously the smarter idea. But to be honest, I was kind of a bit intimidated by Judgment Bird's ability to deal pale damage, because, because a lot of the times up to this point, every enemy that's been capable of dealing, to be fair. For every enemy that's been capable of dealing pale damage up to this point has absolutely decimated the, the, the employee that was targeted. I'll give it. I'll give you credit though, oh, this puts a heck of a lot more control and ability to manipulate them into my the field of control. So, so yeah, it makes things faster. Give them more to heal. The 
a lot faster than having to work on various abnormalities to provoke Punishing Bird. Bad news, the tree's getting some good news. As soon as he steps out of the room, he's dead. If only he'd step out of the room. Come on! Yeah, have fun. Yeah, that's definitely a lot faster. Okay, first things first, we need to... Okay, there's the point. That's the starting goal. First things first. What? Okay, that's just weird. I guess it doesn't count punishing- I guess Riding Hut doesn't count punishing bird or something, or...? I was completely fine- prepared to fight in Riding Hood, but... Hey, if she's not gonna break out, that makes it easier for me, right? Judgment comes first. Finding. Judging. Punishing. Maybe I was 200% lucky in my complete forgetfulness. That... I forgot someone suggested I could use this guy's bullets to kill a whole bunch of clerks. It's real fast to provoke the, the bird instead of working on it. There's the bird. A 
Apparently, there's also three eggs, which I don't understand. It took the entire their time of like both times I fought it, it constantly trying to find these three eggs. I can only ever find two: Big Bird's egg and Punishing Bird's egg.
big bird sparsing eyes were blinded. Okay, so we need to start with taking back the facility. Almost like that Nightmare from Christmas song, Take Our Town Back. I know exactly where she's going. Are you serious? I don't know what's ch I don't know what's going on, but something is making the game just chug. Like the frame rate dipping hard. Texture quality.
pues. So just YouTube and YouTube. You guys can go work on that. All right, I want to do that. Okay, so everything's almost back under the control. Oh. I cannot believe that worked. I still feel like I took heavy losses, but... Are you serious? This plant, this stupid plant's getting lucky, cause... Hurry up and appear! Are you serious? There are many things I might be willing to put up with in this world, Big Bird, but your bullcrap is not one of them. Not today. Should he make the mistake of doing it? I'm sorry for having to lower the graphics for what it's worth. For making everything getting blurrier, but...
I just want gameplay performance to be reasonable. I don't want the game like con even with the only graphic control I can that I can deep handle. Oh my god! Piss off, Red. Okay, the dumb robot's weak to... I shouldn't have to park air all my characters in the hallway just to keep them suppressed long. I can't work on Big Bird. He's like, he's constantly breaking out so much. He constantly breaks out so much that he like. Oh, the game is paused. So do I know him. Please tell me that I get to keep that whatever it is I earned from beating 
in um, Apocalypse Burn, I get to keep permanently, regardless of whether or not I spend the day. Big Bird's escaping so frequently that I genuinely fear I'm going to run out of employees before I can beat the day. I am going to be so upset, genuinely be angry if any if the progress I've made in beating. If the progress I made in beating in Big Bird can't be capped because whoop de do the day didn't end proper. Big Bird's constant breaking out is going to ruin things, and I don't want that. Doesn't help that all the better abnormalities that I could work with to get power faster have like a minus 50% debuff on them, which is stupid ridiculous.
Sí. Sí. Oh my god, will Big Bird stop breaking out? What the hell is the deal? This has got to be just an outright direct glitch or something, because if this kind Big Bird constantly breaking out like this is just plain stupid. Like, this, I'm just getting so frustrated. For a second there, I almost wanted to say the idiot who thought it was a good game mechanic to make Big Bird constantly break out like this. Either this was on purpose, and I almost want to say the idiot who thought this this was a good video game mechanic needs to like be demoted from working on video game mechanics or this is some kind of accidental bug or glitch in the game and people need to have their job re completely reevaluated for this level of confidence i'm getting that kind of, of frustrated with big bird they almost want to say something like to that extent Big Bird constantly breaks out, and his constant breaking out is making Red constantly break out. And the two of them are low, are slowly but surely chipping away the MI employees.
Oh my god, well, Big Bird, piss off! This is exactly why I wanted to save his bull, this bullcrap for the end of the day. This had to get by multiple people. Either this is intentional and multiple people have to sit down and approve. Yes, this big bird literally constantly breaking out upon the second shrub sounding is a good gameplay mechanic. Or otherwise, this is some kind of bug in the game, or so, that somehow multiple people miss. And I just keep emphasizing, because it's, I think it's that ridiculous. I just noticed every single employee has a through the dark twilight. The twilight was endured, and we made faith towards dawn as the birds twittering in the forest finally stopped. I just know it.
I just noticed his employee is possessed. Okay, let's... Hello? Like... Ah. I'm obviously not going to make it to the robot in time, but the robot escapes, Red is going to escape.
just just go up here. I am almost there. Oh right, they move slow. He is cause of, uh, oh, cause of Apple. Victory at heaviest of costs. End the day.
Now, one final thing to check. Big bird's eyes imprison light. The long bird's arms conceal the time, and the small bird's beak whispered endlessly. As long as they exist, the apocalypse bird will not disappear. Known to come when the world is filled with sin, many employees fear the advent of this abnormality. To talk about this bird, we first need to tell the story of the Black Forest. We must remember the forest that was once so peaceful and beautiful. And the apocalypse shall follow. The Tale of the Black Forest Once upon a time, the three happy birds lived in a warm and lush forest. The birds had no names, though the creatures of the forest would call them Big Bird, Long Bird, and Small Bird. Everyone lived freely and happily together in the, the peaceful forest. The birds wanted the forest to be safe more than anyone else. That way creatures from the outside could visit and have fun. It, it was a warm and sunny afternoon when a stranger visited the peaceful forest. He was a traveler, pioneer, and prophet. But at the same time, he was a nobody. He wanted to enter the forest, but the birds found him suspicious. So they didn't let him in. The stranger, angered, told the birds as he left. Soon, a tragedy will befall the forest. It will be tainted with misdeeds and evil, and there will be constant conflict. The tragedies will only stop when a terrible beast appears and devours everything. The sun and moon will shine upon the forest no longer. The forest will never go back to what it was before. The birds worried about the prophecy. What if conflicts were really break out oh, and a beast just moves up to harm the forest just like the man said. That's when the birds decide to become the guardians of the forest. They love this forest more than anyone else did, so they want to protect the creatures living in the forest and keep the peace. Big Bird, with its many eyes, decided to watch over the forest for intruders. For Big Bird's eyes could see very far and see things we cannot. Then somebody said, but what if the beast shows up in the middle of the night, when the sky is dark and everyone is asleep? Worried, Big Bird burned all of its feathers to make an everlasting lamp. Now the creatures of the forest are under Big Bird's constant watch, day and night. To keep the forest's peace, Long Bird weighed the sins of those who entered the forest, for Long Bird's scale, scale. Long Bird's scale was fair and just and could weigh any and all kinds of sin. Then somebody said, but what if the scale doesn't tip in either direction someday? Worried, Longbird made a scale that always tipped to one side. That way every judgment would yield a clear verdict. Small bird or decide to punish the creature's wrongdoings with its beak. Then somebody said, but your beak is so small, no one could find it hurtful. Worried, small bird tore its mouth wide so it could swallow any creature in one bite. No one could visit the forest anymore, and bad rumors about the forest had began to spread outside. I heard terrible things that happened to any creature that enters the forest. The big bird is always watching the creature of the forest. There is no freedom. The long bird's scale isn't fair at all. The small bird's punishment is so scary. The birds got upset. 
We work so hard to protect the forest, why doesn't England appreciate our effort? Fewer and fewer visitors came to the forest, more and more creatures were complaining, fights broke out daily, and yet the birds continued to work even harder to make the forest peaceful again. But, no, this forest is vast and wide, the three of us aren't enough to protect all of it. There's no creature to protect this forest but us. If we combined our power, we can be stronger. The day when Big Bird's eyes could see hundreds of kilometers away, Longbird who could judge any sin, and Small Bird's mouth that could devour everything united into one. Darkness fell upon the forest. Creatures screamed in terror and fear at the sight of the bird, and the forest soon fell into mayhem. Then, in the middle of all the uh, cries, someone shouted, It's the beast! A big scary monster lives in the black, dusky forest! The beast is here? The three birds, now as one looked around, there was no one to be seen. The bird began to prowl the forest, looking for the beast. The forest would be in trouble if the beast really showed up. But there was nothing. There were no creatures, no sun and moon, and no beast. All that was left was the bird and the black forest. Since then, there is only a night's dark as pitch. Rumors say that a terrible beast lived in the uh, Rumor says that there is a terrible beast in the forest where, there, where no one lives. That sounds like, like the ultimate example of a self-fulfilling prophecy. And in their attempts, so desperate as they were, to prevent this prophecy from coming true and protect and trying to protect the, the forest from, from being destroyed by a monster or a beast, they both literally and figuratively, metaphorically, become the monsters that are destined to destroy the forest. Survivor testimony. Every single light in the facility went crazy. They kept flickering and flickering. I couldn't even use my lighter. Then this warm light shone through it all. It looked like a, a waning twilight or growing sunrise. Though, as we all know, sunlight can't make its way into our facility. Everyone silently gazed at the light. Sudden darkness and a weird ray of light were enough to reason to be frightened. It was scarier than anything gory we'd seen here. It was true fear of the unknown of itself omitted. Something from a fog was coming our way. Incandescent lights like stars from outer space were marching towards us. It looked like big bird's eyes, but it wasn't that abnormality. I could hear those long arms scratching the floor. Someone broke the silence with a whisper. That guy over there couldn't run away in time. There was an employee kneeling on the floor, as he couldn't sense the danger approaching behind him, and once he noticed, it was too late. He couldn't even scream. Nobody he would have been able to then. He just meaningly struggled to move his legs, desperate to run from the beast. There was no heroic act of someone standing up against the monster, not even a yell to warn him. Everyone was just watching him, waiting for the terrible thing that was about to happen. Each step a tremor or through the whole facility, the monster was moving such slow steps, but it seemed so fast. In the blink of an eye, it devoured the nameless employee in one bite, and right after that, everyone started screaming chaos. I had gone through handling countless suppressions, but that day, for the first time, I regretted ever joining the company. I was certain I could, it wouldn't get out there alive. This helplessness overwhelmed me. And I couldn't even think about fighting back against the monster, and many others were feeling the same. I think I'm the only one who's say enough to write to them among all the survivors. The company will never tell our newbies about the existence of that monster. However, I want to leave them a warning at the very least. That's why I'm writing this. And with that, We finally defeated Apocalypse Bird. We got its items. 
and we were able to deal with it again just in the event that it happens. I don't know how that it works, but we'll figure it out sooner or later. Look at this, just one, two, three, four, five, six. Out of, okay. Out of the 45 employees, I got six remaining. That alone surprises me. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to restart. <sighs> well, I might, uh, in all likelihood, I'm probably. I was about to suggest that I could do. Okay, so my idea is that I can collect all. I, want, I just want to check something. I just want... I'm just checking something. Big Bird will be the... Right. Big Bird can be the perfect example. I just want to see if, if beginning a day and then backing up allows you to save... Allows you to save what you got on the menu there. Because I know for certain I'm rewinding back to day 36, but I just want to see if, like, if, like, the, if I can save items or so. Ugh. It does. So, so I'll work that out, but I think I'm going to end it here. I know beating, beating Apocalypse Bird was the only thing we've accomplished, but you got to take what you... Oh. Everything has to be EX. Youch! Only a couple of players for you above 110. Inflicts all types of damage. Red, white, black, and purple. I almost read that. Spoken to that was blue. Hail. The special attack kind of regular intervals. If an employee wears his foot in pocket, Oh, <laughs> just like how the ever-watching eyes, the scale that could measure anything else, and the beak that could swallow everything, predicted the peace of the black forest. The wielder of its armament may also bring peace as they do. Oh, that I I like the outfit. It could probably just be because of the amount. I'm 
that I'm enjoying it because of the amount of effort I had to put into it, but it does genuinely look nice in its own way. Real nice. Go over the HP of the poison person. All enemies in the same room receive black damage every five seconds. The effect of all ego parts of damage type of the all the three birds united their effort to defeat the beast. This could stop countless incidents, but you have to be prepared to step into the black forest. Yes. My newest ultimate employee. Well, I think I'm gonna... Uh, I am... I am gonna... Rewind back to day 36 to get the employees back. Cause there's no way I'm recovering from all these employees dying. But thank you so much for watching. This has been Lobotomy Corporation and I think I'm going to end the episode here. This was a beast of an event. But I am very happy. And, the, and I like, I know I say this a lot, but I do mean it. And thank you for all the advice that has gone me this far. I seriously was lacking the confidence to to challenge the bit the um, apocalypse bird, bird but as usual the comments saw on me he threw thank you again for everything this would not have been possible without the comments thank you once again for everything this is not my playthrough. At this point, it's pretty much our playthrough for all the help and advice that the comments have, have done and uh, get me up to this point. Wait, I just know. Hold on, I just know some of that scene. Huh? Is it boosted or something? Because I noticed it says here er, 3.3 on these three and 0.5 here, but everything is like plus 0.1, like it's 0.2 on the three, and, or it's 0.2 here where it's 0.3 here, 0.4 here with 0.5 here. Does equipping the entire set like this give a slight boost or something? I just noticed that. Anyway, this has gone long and long enough. Thank you once again for everything. Watching my videos, liking them, comments. Thank you for everything. And I'm probably going to be doing quite a few things off screen. Which includes getting items back. Heck, and then resetting back to day 36. But the next goal that I intend for the immediate future, unless comments suggest otherwise, is working towards Chested's core suppression. But until then, and thank you for the upkeep time and for watching. And, and until next time, I will see you guys around.